Today we are talking about part two of the editing process. In part one, we went through the basics of Lightroom, our basic adjustments like highlights, shadows, um, our basic exposure, contrast, and saturation. So you can go back to that first video and see that stuff. But in step two, we are actually gonna import our photo into Photoshop and start doing some cleaning up of the image. Let's dive in here. Again, we've already done our basic adjustments here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go down to the bottom of the screen here. We're gonna right click the image and we're just gonna go to edit in. And over here, we're just gonna click on edit Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so now that we are in Photoshop, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the background layer here and I'm gonna duplicate that layer. You can name this whatever you want, but the reason that we're doing this is so that we are not being destructive to our original image. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a little bit later. I've labeled this one fixed layer. There's three basic tools that I use in here and I wanna keep it really, really simple for you guys so you don't have to get too overwhelmed with Photoshop. I'm gonna start by showing you the what I call the Band-Aid tool. It's actually called the Spot Healing Brush. So if you come up and click up here, this is your Spot Healing Brush tool. Make sure that you got it clicked on Content Aware and that you are on your fixed layer. So then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through our image and we're gonna start removing anything that we don't wanna see. So for example, if there's some dirt here in our puddle, we just wanna get rid of that dirt. Um, I can't tell if it's on my computer screen or not, but we'll see what we wanna do. Zoom in here. There's just a few parts on the car that like we wanna try and get rid of here. Just some glares we don't really like or dirty spots. So we're just gonna come in here, clean those up. Let's see what we can do here. Oh man, this thing is just genius. Works so well. I tend to just get rid of the obvious glares um, using these tools. So this spot healing brush tool is, as you can see, very, very fast for getting rid of anything you like. Okay, so another tool we can use, guys, is called the clone stamp tool. Now really basically what this does when you click on the clone stamp tool is it samples a part of the image and then paints that sample over top of wherever you want it to go. So for example, up here on the bumper here, we wanna select holding option where we wanna sample from, and then we're gonna paint that sample onto the car. Now, if you look up here, the opacity and flow, you can see that our flow is pretty low. The reason I do that is so that I can kind of paint it in slowly and make sure I'm not affecting my image too much. So let's try and get rid of this little thing over here. Um, I don't really like what's happening on the car here, so I'm gonna select this part of the hood and see if we can paint it, paint it in here and make that go away. All right, we're zoomed in quite far here, so I gotta make my brush a little smaller. I'm gonna select this part here and see if we can paint it over the light and just get rid of this stuff. Just brushing that in nice and slow, again, selecting the part I want to paint in, and it's showing me the reference point that I'm using, which is kinda nice. Okay, so this is the clone stamp tool. You can use this in crazy ways. Another one we can do, this one's really great for any like splotches on the side of the car that you wanna get rid of. This tool is called the patch tool. Now what you can do here is select, I don't know, let's just try and wrap around this guy with our little patch tool and then we're gonna drag it to where we want it to reference. And then it's gonna sample using content aware. You can come up here and you can see that this part here says content aware and that's the patch mode that we're using. Now you can do this all day long. Just grab whatever you want and drag it to where you want it to reference and it'll use content aware to kind of blend those two together until you have the smoothest image possible. So here we've got a lamp post. Let's see if we can take that off the hips of our car. Where do we want it to reference? I don't know, up here somewhere. Okay, so there's some really basic ways that you can use the patch tool. Um, it's a pretty intense program here, as you can see. Now, I am not a pro at this stuff. I've learned a lot of this from other YouTubers and just started putting it into practice. So guys, there you go. There's a couple of tools you can use that are really simple to just get rid of any of those little nitpicky things you wanna get rid of. Sometimes they work really well. Other times you kinda gotta nitpick and get right into the pixels and get rid of stuff. Um, they take a lot of practice, so don't get upset if the first few times you uh, are doing weird stuff, you'll get it, you'll get it. Just keep working at it. Um, these things can take a while. Um, but I hope that you've learned something from this. We're in the next one, we're gonna talk about highlighting our subject using dodging and burning in Photoshop and some of the tools also in Lightroom that you can use to highlight your subject. So I hope you guys learned something from this. If I miss something, 
please comment below. Let me know some of the tools that you guys use in Photoshop and any other resources you have as well to learn because we're all just learning here, right? So um, yeah, comment below if you like this. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're enjoying what you're seeing and I appreciate you guys sticking around to watch. Um, hopefully I'll link the next videos up here somewhere so you guys can watch those too. Thanks for watching guys.